Hello Cleveland, this is Guthrie Govan here. Um, I'm going to try and offer you a couple of tips about how to start breaking out of scale boxes. This is a problem I know a lot of students have where they've learned all the scale shapes and yet when they're improvising they feel like they're rooted pretty much in one scale shape at a time. And that can sometimes feel restrictive as if the scale shape is telling you what to play rather than you being the boss. Um, so to, to start looking at a specific example of how you can use this mentality of breaking out of the boxes, let's take everyone's favourite scale, the best scale in the world, which is A minor pentatonic. It's this one. You know it already, even if you don't know the name for it. All right, so all that really is is a family of A, C, D, E, and G notes all over the fretboard. Um, so you could just as easily pl play the scale like this. It's the same thing. I've deliberately chosen a scale everyone knows pretty well, but the same principle should apply to any other shapes you know. So when you're improvising, um, I'd suggest that for any note in that scale shape, you try and associate that part of the fingering shape with a potential slide in either direction. So, for instance, you might be here. Um, in that area, in the middle of the scale box. So you might associate this note with a slide up to here, and this one with a slide up to here. You get the idea. And now when you improvise, just try and use some of those slides as a gateway into the next position. Uh, it's probably easiest to start just with two adjacent scale shapes, like this one, and the next one up, the Albert King shape. Uh, so you could try maybe shifting on the D string, or on the G string, or the B string. And the next step from that would just be to try and get more adventurous, try and cover more ground. Uh, so rather than showing you a specific lick here, I'm just trying to sell you a, a way of thinking about the fretboard. So you could st start with that simple idea of jo joining up two shapes, and then maybe try and go for something more ambitious, go from the lick from hell, which starts here and ends up somewhere at the top of the fretboard. There you go. So you can cover quite a lot of ground in a short space of time. And hopefully thinking like this will leave you feeling a little bit less trapped with each scale shape that you know. I hope that's helpful. See you next time.